Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to 2021. And I thought I'd start off 2021 with a Q&A. Uh, 2020 has been a rough year for us all. Uh, mainly because of Covid, but also some other stuff. Uh, but I'm just glad 2021 is here. And I hope this could be a breakout year for my channel. Uh, I've posted the goals that I want by the end of this year. Uh, on my Twitter. And let's hope I can get them. I'm going to try and push my channel this year as much as I can without overdoing it uh, but before we get started with these questions that I've been sent in by some of my friends and my fans out there um, please make sure to like share and subscribe the video and uh, comment down below uh, some more questions because I'll be doing this the first day next month as well make it a monthly thing um, and also I just want to say thank you so much for your support the uh, last stream that I did uh, the big fat was in the year it's nearly at 500 views which is like five times bigger than my second biggest video I just you guys sometimes shock me you really do so cheers 2021 all of you but without further ado uh, let's get started um, first question do you think Disney Star Wars is heading in the right direction With the formula they have with Mandalorian, I think they are, uh, film-wise, now. Um, I feel like they've got a good formula with the directors that they currently have working on the Mandalorian. And if they could, like, disperse them into different projects, that'd be good. Like, we already have Deborah Chow on Kenobi. Uh, we have Dave Filoni on Ahsoka. And Raiders of the Repub New Republic with Dave, well, John Favreau, obviously the Mando. Uh, I'd like to see Bryce Dallas Howard and Rick Famuyiwa on some of the projects in Star Wars as well, maybe a film. We know Taika Waititi is getting a film, which I'm excited for. Um, but yeah, series-wise, these are plus-wise, I think they're going in the right direction. But with the films, I don't think they're getting there yet. I think they will if they try to stick to the formula of not having two different directors with two different visions. I think they should have it planned out before they do it, the films, and then execute the vision without how it was with, uh, for example, Ray's character, how it was flip-flopping between Kenobi and Palpatine. Next question. Uh, did Patty Jenkins lay an egg with Wonder Woman 84? Now, I'm going to be honest, I haven't watched the full film, but from what I've seen, I am... Um, indifferent to it it's not so I won't watch it again but I don't hate it but do I think she's laid an egg not really just I don't think she's laid the egg with what she's planning on doing but no sorry uh, next question would Mace Windu appear instead of Luke at the Mandalorian season finale be a bigger oh my god moment um, well, Danny, uh, I know you sent in this question. Um, I did see you discuss this on your channel, and personally, I think no. I feel like everyone has a more emotional connection to Luke, because if you look at Mace in the prequels, you don't really see much to go on with him, and like much emotional attachment, but with Luke, you do. So, I feel like emotionally, no, but if looking at star power, like Samuel Jackson's Mandalorian that would draw more eyes so financially maybe yes but emotionally for the old, old fans no next question how can one go about pleasing Star Wars fans they never seem satisfied I think the objective here is not to please all Star Wars fans it's just to please as many as you can um, obviously you got to think about Star Wars in three different categories. The films, the TV shows and the games. The comics can kind of fit with the TV shows. But thinking of them three aspects, you need strong lineups for all of them. But so far they've only got two out of the three. The last one they need is the films. The games right now are doing well with Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, recently cancelled Battlefront 2 was doing well. Uh, TV shows, obviously... We've got a shit ton announced. 
uh, films. We've got Taika T A, uh, Mary Headland, I think that's her name. And we've got an unannounced Brian Johnson trilogy, but I don't think that's going to happen. But I feel like for the films, it's a bit up in the air right now. Uh, I feel like, in my personal opinion, I know I'm going a bit off track here, but uh, I feel like Star Wars is best suited for the TV show style instead of the film. Uh, but yeah, I think you need to satisfy as much fans as possible, and I feel like they're kind of doing that on two aspects. They need to do it on the third, and then they can group them together. But, uh, yeah. I'd say, just try and please them on them three aspects. With just some strong films, maybe. Uh, maybe the Kenobi series could have been a film, but I prefer six hours of you and McGregor instead of two and a half. Um, obviously, if a Taika Waititi film does well in 2025, which I hope it does, then maybe we'll see a bit of a change and we'll see people kind of go back to the films instead of just TV shows and games. But, yeah. Uh, hard to please Star Wars fans. Them three aspects. Made them. And then go for the comics and uh, merch stuff. Because after you've got all these three big main medias, they can go for the secondaries. Question four, well five, sorry, that I've got down. Uh, what are your thoughts on Mando season three and what do you think will happen? Mando season three is very interesting because there's been a lot of rumours that it's been, been delayed because John Favreau and Dave Floney have a lot of more projects to work on now. Book of Boba, Ahsoka... Rangers of the New Republic. Um, I think in season three there's going to be a Mandalorian civil war. <sighs> Main reason the Dark Saber. Bo-Katan wants it. Mando has it. There's going to be a civil war. Do I want that to happen? No. Would it be an interesting storyline? Depends on what's going to happen in it. Because I don't feel like Mandalore was interested until Maul came into it. Now, I feel like if they bring some sort of other looming persona into it, that's... I don't know, it's just... I feel like there's going to be a Mandalorian Civil War. I can't really describe what will happen. But we've obviously seen that Mando Season 2 did a lot better than Mando Season 1. Uh, Mandalorian is probably going to become one of the more iconic TV shows in the future. But, if we're being honest, Mando Season 3 is built in the air. Uh, obviously, Grogu's gone. Probably the biggest draw from the Mando. Um, but yeah, I'd see a Mandalorian Civil War coming through. But, that's all I have for that. Next question. What is your favourite Star Wars game? interesting one. I've got two. The first one is Star Wars Revenge of the Sith and the other one is Star Wars Battlefront 2 2005 as well. Just that era of Star Wars is just OP. Next question. What got you into Star Wars? Uh, what got me into Star Wars was that I think the first time I saw it was when I was ill in year two. Uh, but we had a VHS. I know, I bought it in 2005. But she brought in a VHS with Star Wars episode 4 New Hope. I've still got it, the VHS for it. And it just blew me away. I, th I thought this came out in like five years ago. Came out in 1977. No big deal. But ever since then, just the mystery of Star Wars is something that has thrilled me and yeah I've, I have to find a new hope for getting me into Star Wars honestly I know it'd be a bit surprised I thought I know people would think uh, that maybe Revenge of the Sith would have got me into it because it's my favourite Star Wars film but a new hope I have to find for that next question what is your favourite Star Wars and Marvel film Favourite Star Wars film, uh, Revenge of the Sith, just said that. Marvel film, it's got to be Captain America, the Winter Soldier. That's all I have to say about that. 
Uh, whose lightsaber is your favourite? I have two. One, actually I have three, but if I had to pick one out of them, it would probably be the dark saber. The most unique one out there. So, it's obviously going to be uh, a really unique and liked lightsaber. Next question. What is your guilty pleasure film? Ooh. Give me a second. Guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasure film. I can't. Hmm. Maybe. Either Attack the Block or Baby Driver. I'll go with Attack the Block, but Baby Driver is still a really good film. You should go and see it. By. Well, it's written by Go Right. Fucking solid film. Next up. Who is your favourite actor? Samuel Jackson. Without a doubt. Some of my favourite films of all time are because of his performances in them. Like. Pulp Fiction. Stars of Regent Sif. Not because of his acting, but because he's in it. But, um, this guy's been in everything. And. You can't deny, if you see Samuel Jackson on a poster, you're going to see it, the film. But if I had to pick someone besides one Samuel Jackson, because it's a pretty obvious one. Liam Neeson. Yeah. I feel like I rate Liam Neeson a lot more than most people, but... Liam Neeson's a solid actor, and you can't deny it. What new Star Wars Disney Plus show are you most excited for? Good question. Easy answer. Kenobi. And after Kenobi, I think it's probably the Book of Boba. Next question. Do you think that Marvel will do better than the previous three phases? Or do you think they've already peaked? It's a good question, which I don't think I can give you a proper answer to. Um, it's always difficult because we don't know much about Phase 4 besides for the TV shows but we don't know much about the TV shows either except from Falcon and Winter Soldier uh, we don't know much but I can see that they could do better than phase, the first three phases um, obviously I thought the first Avengers was when it peaked then Infinity War came out Ult Age of Ultron was like Avengers film was like, it's kind of peak, straight line, peak, and kind of a kind of start to curve off on end game. But I think it could go back up to a peak again with Avengers Five. But I can't really give a definitive answer. But the one I can give you that I'll probably go with is I think they could do better. But it's all down to. Uh, Kevin Feige in the Marvel team. Next question. What would your dream Star Wars film be about? All Republic's a generic answer, so I'm not going to say it. Um, hmm. That's a difficult one, but... Hmm. I'd maybe like to see a Anakin series when he was growing up, training, or maybe a Qui Gon series where he was being taught on the Dooku and then he taught Obi Wan. One of them two would be my dream Star Wars film or TV show. I'll include TV show in the question as well. I know this person has film, but TV show or film, I'd go with Qui Gon. How old am I? I, my friend, am 15 years old. Next question. What are your plans for 2021? Well, I've got the next four months of videos planned out. But I can only confirm what's happening in January, which uh, after the amazing success of the big fat quiz of the year, 
uh, that'll be a yearly thing now. Uh, next year, well, this year now, Chris and LDG will be defending their title uh, the, on the next one. Um, the next TV show we're going to do it is the Chase. Uh, I'm going to be the chaser. I'm going to get someone else to do the questions. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm probably thinking of doing next. And then the videos, I'm just going to. I won't give them away yet because I don't want to really. I some of them are a surprise. But plans for 2021. I've got the next four months planned out, but I can only confirm January. Uh, I'm doing the chase, so I'm going to try and do a TV show every month. If we did big fat quiz in December, which will always be December. Chase in January. And then February, I've got a couple in mind, but I haven't confirmed yet. But watch out for the chase in January. Late January, I'll give you that one. Uh, the final question I have, sorry guys, I I can only, these are all the questions I can answer. I picked them out, but thank you all for sharing your questions. I'll do this on a monthly thing. Just want to kind of get a bit more kind of personal for us. Uh, for answering this last question, Please make sure to like, share, subscribe. There's about 55% of you that aren't subscribed. So make sure that red subscribe button is grey. Please. And if you leave a comment down below uh, on some questions, I'll greatly appreciate it for next month. And then, who knows, you might be included in the video. And the final question. Who is your favourite Star Wars character? I'm going to have to say Anakin Skywalker. I thought Hayden did an absolutely fantastic job as Anakin. And I think besides from Heath Ledger, Hayden Christensen is probably the only person that could have done that job. So that's for light side. I'm going to do light side or dark side. For dark side, I'm going to go Palpatine. Also, I think Palpatine's as good of a villain, if not even better than Vader. Like, this dude started a war, half of the galaxy against the other half of the galaxy, whilst he was here, controlling both sides, and no one knew it. Besides from maybe Dooku. But that's it. Only... Dooku knew and Dooku died. Dooku is dead. No one knew of Order 66 besides for Cypher Diaz. And he's dead. Maybe because of Palpatine. Palpatine somehow found a way to eliminate the Separatists whilst keeping the Republic but also taking the Sith side of the Separatists and combining it with Darth Vader and its helm. And Palpatine lurking in the shadows being the big mysterious figure as always. So Palpatine somehow got control of the whole galaxy, but only say he controlled half of it. But he always had control of the whole galaxy, but had to combine it. Get rid of the Separatist side of it, take the Sith side, combine it with the Republic, take out the Jedi. Boom. But yeah, uh, Palpatine dark side, Anakin light side. But that is all for today, guys. Uh, thank you so much for your questions. Uh, I appreciate all the questions that were sent in today. Um, and yeah, again, uh, thanks for the latest stream. Uh, it's currently crawling up to 500 views, as I've said. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you all. Take care. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021. Cheers.